parking policy in New York City and certainly parking policy in cities around the country is broken. Allowing cars to park for free on the street to dominate that space for long periods of time with no added activity is the lowest possible use for our streets and public spaces. Even in the most dense cities, new developments are often required to add a certain number of car parking spaces. And on-street car parking is made very cheap. This makes it way easier to drive than it should be, and it also keeps our parking spaces full longer than they should be. The policies don't make economic sense. Our parking policy is exacerbating traffic congestion giving a secret subsidy to the tune of billions of dollars per year to the automobile. In the U.S., the average car parking spot costs $15,000. Bike racks cost about $200 each. We work really hard to make it easy and convenient to park cars, but then we don't put as much effort into making it easy to park your bike. And so we're kind of in this never-ending cycle, more storage, more cars, more storage, more cars. And then when you have more storage and more cars, you have fewer and fewer houses, fewer recreational facilities. And so in a way, it's a kind of a downward spiral because then you, what you wind up having is less city. The problem with how we're planning our, our streets for cars and for parking is that it's allowing our streets to be privatized. So virtually every block in New York City is lined with free parking. Only a fraction of New York City's on-street parking is actually metered. And of that metered parking, it's still about 12 times cheaper than you would pay in a private garage. You have about 10 spaces per side on most blocks, and these spaces average about 200 square feet in area. So that works out to about 4,000 square feet of parking per block. There are 6,000 miles of streets in New York City, and that works out to about 10,800 acres of parking in New York. How large is 10,000? 800 acres? Well, it works out to about 13 central parks. Imagine what you can do with all that space. Two parking spaces actually make a decent sized studio apartment. A bike corral is a car parking space that has been converted into multiple bike parking spaces. In the space where you can park one single car, if you turn that into a bike corral, you can park anywhere from 8 to 22 bicycles. When we talk about parking policy, we're talking about you know, the vacancy rate, or the cost per hour, or how many square feet of parking is devoted uh, on a particular street. This can like quickly get a little boring for people, and it's hard for people to kind of grasp why our parking policy is broken, or why it's problematic, or why the opportunity cost of devoting so much public space to car parking is a problem. So with Parking Day, we have really tried to give people a very visually impactful experience of how our public space is really being squandered. People inhabit the space. Sometimes we'll put sod down or benches, but it's really a way to um, humanize what otherwise would be used for simply automobile storage. Well, I think historically the parking problem had been defined as there wasn't enough convenient places to put your car. But increasingly cities are starting to understand that the parking problem could be defined differently and in fact it might be the case that there's too much parking. We sort of got the idea sort of inspired by the sort of the reclamation of, of parking lanes you know with programs like parking day and such and looking for places where we could really repurpose and sort of more actively distribute the limited road right of way and so behind us we have the first pavement to park parklet and the idea here really is to sort of very simply and relatively cheaply build out a platform into the parking lane and just providing on top of that sort of a variety of different amenities. So cafe tables and chairs were appropriate, benching, uh, bike parking, some landscaping. We need to put parking back in its place. The grail of parking reform is to make it so that parking is not subsidized. Space is a scarce resource in cities and we're not making more of it. And so we have to manage what we have in order to get the right amount of movement for people rather than for vehicles.